Hey Adam, what are you looking at? Hey Adam, what are you looking at? What do you just see? A legend. A legend? What do you just see, man? Oh my god. He has zero candies, man. He has zero candies. Not what, that's not what we're looking at. We're looking at this. Oh my god, 149 million? My 35 degrees Celsius and 47% humidity but I made it to Japan I made it to Tokyo but first things first I got one very important thing to do which is to cut my hair because it's so warm and I've not cut my hair in two months so from Australia to here the weather is so different I'm not even wearing a jacket anymore because it's so warm here so yeah, I'm going to spend probably the next 10 days or 9 days here in Tokyo attending the Yokohama Go Fest and even the Pikachu outbreak. I actually checked in my accommodation a few hours ago but I wasn't able to go to my room to rest. And I want to rest because I didn't sleep much on the plane because I was doing my edits. But it was a 14 and a half hours travel from Perth to here. And yeah, I need some rest. Otherwise, I may crash later in the evening as it's just about 2 p.m. right now. And I only can go to my accommodation at 3 o'clock. Looks like I'm not going back to my accommodation anytime soon because I got myself a tea here at this tea bar. And there are actually four coffee stops here, so I'm just chilling here. But I want you guys to take a look at the number of gyms around me right now and count. Yeah, count the number of gyms that are around me right now. Okay, actually, I've counted it. There are a total of 38 gyms around me. It doesn't look like it, but yes, there is a total of 38 gyms, with 8 of them being sponsored gyms. And if you look at the walking stops around me, yes, this is not sponsored. This is sponsored. This is sponsored. And this is sponsored. So I have three sponsored walking stops that I'm on right now. And if you look at the gyms and the focus not they have a pink little uh, thing at the bottom of them. Those are sponsored gyms and stocks. It's just insane to see that Japan has so many sponsored gyms and stocks. And this is just part of the place. And I'm not at the best place to play Pokemon Go here in Tokyo. As right now, I'm at Kawasaki. And it's not the best place to play. If you go to the central at Shibuya and Washinjuku, there should be more Pokestops stops and more sponsored gyms and stops there. Japan, oh my god, heaven for Pokemon Go. And I'm back to my accommodation. It's currently 12:46 a.m. I know I didn't show you guys much footage, but this is what I've gotten from today's raids. I've done a total of 15 raids together with my friends from all around the world. There, some of them were from America. Some of them were from the European region. And they all came here for Yokohama Go Fest. But, yep, that was the only shiny Rayquaza that I've gotten today after a total of 15 raids during the dinner hour. And two more after the dinner raid hour. And of course, that two um, weather boosted Rayquaza, which, you know, I may power them up and then um, I could trade them away, I guess. Tomorrow, I probably will be just chilling, hanging around with my friends. I may not go to the park yet. I'm thinking to go to the Go Fest event at Yokohama on Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Yes, it is Thursday right now, which technically is today that I'm not going to the Yokohama event. So I'm going there on Friday, Saturday and Sunday and then Monday is going to be my play day. So it's actually a one week Go Fest event here in Japan. It's very, very long, but I'm not thinking to play or in fact go there to catch Pokemon for seven days straight because I want to chill around in the other parts of Japan and that is why also my accommodation is not near Yokohama it's kind of in between Tokyo and Yokohama so that I could explore this area before I go to Yokohama because I've been to Yokohama twice and I do love Japan a lot I love the food I love the culture I love the crazy Japanese hardcore Japanese pogo players but you know I just wanted to explore somewhere different and not just Tokyo and Yokohama, Tokyo and Yokohama. So anyway, see you guys on Friday. Wait, 
not Friday, but actually now. Good morning! It's been two days since the Requaza dinner rate hour. I know you guys can't really see me that well because the sun is shining at the back. It's currently 11.20 a.m. And I've been spending the last two days just at my accommodation and around my accommodation, staying at the four coffee stops at the tea cafe to just do my edits. I really, really want to catch up with the edits. That's why I didn't uh, go around to play Pogo that much. I didn't even go to Yokohama yet to meet my friends. And since it's still the weekdays, I rather take the time to edit my videos and wait for everybody, including my friends from Singapore and from Malaysia to come over during the weekends. And today is a Friday. And today is actually the arrival of Isaac, Isaac from Malaysia, whom some of you guys should remember from the previous live streams that I've been doing. He joined me in one of the live streams before and he is one of the top players in Malaysia. He's currently here in Japan for the very first time. So in a way, I will have to be his guide. Yeah, let's go and look for him. Another thing though, I've checked out from my accommodation here in Kawasaki, making our way towards Yokohama to stay in another accommodation. So yeah, I packed my bags and we're gonna go there right now after brunch. I like your cap, you know. <laughs> Am I famous Good now? Good. <laughs> Welcome to Japan, huh? You came here because of Brandon. You came here because of Secret League, ah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah, Isaiah, what are we eating? Uh? Sushi. Sushi. Oh, wow, yeah. First time in Japan eating sushi. Uh. First proper meal in Japan. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, first time taking a train with Isaac, yeah. People are so hardcore, you know. Play Pogo, don't even want to talk to me anymore. See, still catching a meditation on his phone now. I don't even want to talk to me. Yeah, Isaac, we made it! We made it to Yokohama! We Let's checked in. Let's go! Yeah, we checked in our accommodation and we are going to Yamashita Park now to meet a few friends and just chill there. It's what's, a very hot day. What's hot in Japanese again? Atsue! Atsue, Atsue, yeah. Atsue, Atsue, Atsue. Before we make our way to... Yamashita Park, I just wanted to point out something. If you guys look at the in-game buildings around us right now, there's a huge circular area that's actually Yokohama Stadium. And that was where Auntie Gladys, I and a few of my friends, we were there two years ago to attend the Pikachu outbreak where we actually got ourselves our very first Mewtwo. Let me see if I can look for the Mewtwo. Yeah. Nope, not sort by CP, sort by recent. Uh. So this was the very first Mewtwo that was caught here in Yokohama and the stadium was just there, we walked past it. Pretty uh, cool to actually walk past it again after two years ago, I guess. Legacy Mewtwo, yo? Yeah, Legacy Mewtwo with Shadow Ball, but it's Legacy Legacy because it's the first Mewtwo first from Yokohama. Ever. Yeah. And then when was, the, when was the next one that you got? I don't know. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. I, let's Those see. were the days. Yeah. I, Level I, 40 players couldn't have x rate invites after, for some reason. After like I think 4,000 over rates, then I got my first x rate pass, you know. Oh, that was ridiculous. Hey Charles, why in the world do you have so many spirit tombs? Spirit tomb nest, bro. Cool. I need to go there. Yeah. Yeah, let's go. Delaware. <laughs> Pikachu! No! <laughs> Pikachu needs Max Revive now. No. <sighs> hey, Professor Willow, high five. <laughs> Japanese top player from Osaka <laughs> looking at my stats. <laughs> oh my. This is what happens when Japanese sees my stats. Oh my god. Yabai, yabai. Yabai. Crazy. Yabai. Yabai, 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 yabai. They're saying it's crazy, 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 crazy. Yeah. <laughs> 
So guys, we just had dinner here at the Japanese restaurant with Isaac. I'm so full. Hey, you're so full. Ipa. Week <laughs> with our friends from Osaka, also here for the event. Arigato. Arigato. Yeah, and I'm here together with Yuka. Hi. Yuka. I'm. I want to show you guys something that she has on her account, which is going to be quite mind blowing. So yeah, look at this. She has a total of three maxed out, hundred percent. All right, Fibas, and they're all shiny. Yes, they are all 100%, okay? And she has a total of another, yeah, just count that, that's 10 more. So that's a total, total of 13 100% maxed out Melotics, all right? And also another, yeah, a zillion more at the bottom. Actually, it's a total of 29 shinies, together with a total of 107 that she has. So. In her Pokédex, if you look at her Pokédex over here, I know vroom vroom at the back, but just look at the screen and listen to the sound of my voice. Miro Carlos Joe. 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 3,692 Fibas caught and 165 lucky. And then the Milotic. Uh, Milotic. 116 caught and 15 luckies. Yeah, so she must be trading like Milotics almost every day. That's all I can say. I do not know uh, where she got all the Milotics from, but insane, crazy. <laughs> yeah, bye! <laughs> Three 100% shiny maxed out Milotic and another 10 more over there. So that's a total of 13 maxed out 100% Milotic. Like, I don't know what to say. I only have two. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what to say. Arigato. 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 So, Isaac, what do you think of Yuka and her Milotics? It's so. What's the word? Yeah, bye! It's so crazy. <laughs> yeah. And I mean, you were saying about how difficult it is to get the 100%, yeah. right? Especially from trades. Only like, how to say, it's... What, what are the odds of getting 100% from a lucky trade? 1 in 64. 1 in 64. And one from yeah. a normal trade, say with best friends? 1 in 1,000 something. So you see, the odds are so stacked against you. And to get that in a... To get 100% in... Especially 100% shinies. Yeah. yeah. How many people can... How many 100% shinies would you have anyway? But other people have yeah. also, right? And willing to trade also, right? Exactly that. Yeah, that's why it's hardcore. It's really crazy. It's this kind so... of things just impress, you know, people like Isaac and me. Yep. Yeah. That's why we always feel that, you know, there are different levels of hardcore and different ways of, you know, saying someone is hardcore. So many ways to yeah. play this game. Agreed. And so, you know, some people just have something that they love or yeah. goal that they want. And to, and to see someone, you know, go all out to achieve that kind of targets is just remarkable. Yeah. So anyway, that is it for today. We're going to see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow we're going to check out the park again, the other park to just chill and hang out with the crowd. And then uh, maybe we're going to see some more Japanese with crazy stats. Maybe not even Japanese, but maybe just someone from another country. And we're going to see you guys tomorrow then. But Mr. Isaac, please don't wear the same color shirt as me tomorrow, damn it. Okay, bye. That's right. No, that's not right. <laughs> Brandon! I can't believe I found you! That's right! Retard. <laughs> oh my god. How many? How many? How many? How many? How many? How many? Uh, Fifteen. Too many. Fifteen. <laughs> Fifteen. Fifteen shiny Phoebus from Yuka again. Yay. I forgot to add that in, but yeah, 29 shiny Melotics and 15 shiny Phoebus. Like, what do you have to say? What do you have to say, Jess? Why? <laughs> Phoebus and Melotic Queen. Yeah. That's crazy. Before we continue to see more crazy Japanese players' stats, I'd like you guys to see this crazy Japanese grind spot here in Shinjuku Station at Tokyo. And I was actually here two years ago and even last year and I noticed that I think some of the stops got removed but nevertheless it's still a very insane grind spot because there are still a good number of pokey stops here and a lot of natural spawns over here. This is the way a lot of the Japanese are grinding here in Shinjuku where they are sitting at the benches and there are a lot of vending machines for them to buy drinks and also there's a display of Pokemon on the wall. So this is actually in the center of the whole of Tokyo 
where there are a lot of electronic stores around here that's why I guess there are so many sponsored stocks etc around here and this is the way they are grinding that's why there are so many crazy Japanese players with insane stats here in Japan but that is not how I am going to grind if I see a grind spot like this but this is how I am going to grind so yes I am going to hand catch everything I am not even going to use the gold blast to catch the Pokemon but it's set to just spin Pokestops and whenever a Team Rocket Pokestop come up that's when it's not a good thing for me yeah clearly the natural spawn here is insane and I did a test route just now already it takes around 6 minutes to walk this loop and this loop consists of 16 Pokestops just walking at normal human speed you, know, you could potentially get yourself like around 160 Pokestops spun per hour and the natural spawn is just insane I estimate I should be able to catch around 220 at least Pokemon per hour doing this route so this is just one of the many crazy grind spots that the Japanese have and they are just very fortunate to have so many sponsored Pokestops and gyms I guess so it's just truly insane the Pokemon heaven <laughs> here in Tokyo man see another sponsored Pokestop again charge spot this is new I've never seen uh, this sponsored Pokestop before it's usually McDonald's or 7-Eleven or any of the mobile phone providers see the natural spawn around this area where I am at right now this part of the, the loop is crazy yeah just gonna lure that last sponsored Pokestop SoftBank which is also another mobile service company yeah Japan look look at the spawn my god insane I think I can reach this unique one yep another sponsored stop which like I say this is new yeah Pikachu is over there Nope, not shiny. So the natural spawn even up to here is insane. There are like four or five spawn points here. Yeah, so if my character my character is like drifting into the building over there a bit. But that's cool. Okay, I mean I'm getting spawns, right? Still catching. I'm not gonna catch that far fetch though. Because there are other better spawns to catch. Look at the grind spot. I know bro. So what do you think? What do you think and of no. this grind spot? 16 Pokestops. And Poke there's so stops. many people playing Pokemon Go here. I know. On a casual Sunday afternoon. Yeah. It's so crazy. Actually, actually, now that you mentioned that it's a Sunday afternoon, right? After work on Mondays to it's Fridays, crazy. it's crazier. <laughs> After 5 p.m. to like 1 a.m., it's perpetually Leo. Right. Oh. All the time, there are four Pokestops there. And I was here last year, and that was what happened. That one I can guarantee. <laughs> Quite nice. Stretch as well. And it's six minutes walk, man. Six oh, minutes. So it's an ideal walking loop. Yeah, it's an ideal walking loop, six minutes. See, so we're back to the four Poké Stop spot. Even if without lures, yeah, there's still a lot of natural spawns to catch around here. When I arrived here just now, there were probably around like 12 Pokemon to catch here, not from the lures. And obviously, I caught all of them already, so I, I couldn't show you guys that they are still on the screen just a tip for you guys though natural spawn Pokemon those that are not from incense or lure they last for half an hour or one hour and roughly 5% of the spawns natural spawns last for one hour the lured Pokemon they last for three minutes or one and a half minutes if it's from the special lures and the incense Pokemon, they only last for one minute before they all despawn. So how to tell whether a Pokemon is naturally spawned or lured or incense is you have to look at the ring around the Pokemon. If you guys look at the Zigzagoon, the Zigzagoon that is just in between those lures, that is an incensed Zigzagoon because there's a pink smoke around it, which is similar to the pink smoke that is surrounding my character right now. And if we take a look at this PG, they just spawn. This is a lured PG because there's a pink circle at the bottom of the PG that's pulsing. But it is a weather boosted PG because it is partly cloudy right now and PG being a normal flying type, 
yes, it is weather boosted. So it's after 35 minutes of grinding that I've done and I just did the math. I've caught a total of 112 Pokemons in 35 minutes. So essentially that's around 107-ish Pokemon caught in half an hour. So that's 217, 14 Pokemon, 214 Pokemon caught every hour here on this spot. And that is running on roughly 70% efficiency because I'm holding the camera, I'm not even playing with two hands because I'm playing just with one hand. And also the fact that I'm trying to count and calculate everything. So I'm stopping a bit here and there and my eggs were hatching also. So I guess we should be able to do around 250 to 260 Pokemon caught per hour if everything is done properly on this route. Japan, truly insane. Isaac, what do you have to say? Japan. Okay, we stay in Japan, we migrate to Japan. It's so good to grind here. Okay, la, we move here. That is it. I want to show you guys about this insane grind spot here in Shinjuku Station. But if you guys want to check out an even crazier grind spot, wait till almost the end of the video. As that's where most of the top Japanese player here in Tokyo plays at. Even the one with the most catches in the world. Not me. So on. <laughs> Look at the moon. Nah, that's not the moon. Just just a lamppost. Because we are at Kinshicho Station. This is actually where most of the hardcore Japanese players grind at. Here at this train station. Where it's actually a huge shopping mall. Up to five levels. Yeah, I can't do five because I'm holding my iPad now. But we're going to have dinner with the Japanese together with some friends from all around the world. And then we are going to go into the mall to grind for a while. I want to show them the walking route, which I'm also going to show you guys the walking route. And then we'll be hanging around here. This whole entire area was where Pokemon Go first started here in Tokyo for the Japanese. It was insane back in the days where there were like hundreds and thousands of people here. And this was where one of the top players, ex-top players, Kubo Yen, he was playing at to grind to level 40. And in fact, a lot of the Japanese players, they all grind here. So I'll show you guys some crazy stats from the Japanese later on after dinner because I'll meet, be meeting most of them later on too. And then we're going to continue to grind here on the outside where there are benches over there. But nah, who needs to sit? We're going to stand. Another thing that I forgot to add though, this is actually my third time here in Tokyo at this grind spot where me, Auntie Gladys and quite a few of us, we have came here so many times. But every year when we come to Japan, when we come for an event, it's kind of like a ritual that we come here to meet the Japanese, to play Pokemon Go together. I'm looking there because the dinner place is over there, so I think they're waiting for me, so I gotta go. But nevertheless, it's gonna happen again this year. Most of the hardcore players are here, so we're gonna just chill and hang out as usual. Before we begin, shall we all propose a challenge? Yes! yes. What shall we propose to Pokemon? Yeah. 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 Pokemon and Dover Lucky Eggs! No more Lucky Eggs! Yeah! 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 Somebody has to take the lead to take down this cloister, you know? Oh, look at that, look at that. Awesome. So many friendships, even, even with DX1. Look, DX1. Yeah, DX1, yeah, see? Awesome. Alright, cloister is served, guys. Guys, it's time. It's time to look for Yama and Carolina. Yep, so I'm one day to best friends with Carolina. It's the highest in catches. If you guys look at this, look at this here. <laughs> catches in the world. Carolina here. 832,353 catches. That's just absurd. Yes, Carolina is here standing on my right, but I'm not gonna show who Carolina is because he doesn't want to be on camera. But anyways, we're gonna do a PG versus PG battle just to up our friendship and we're gonna get to best friends. And this friendship has not been up to best friends for the last, I think, eight months. Yeah, eight months, right, that we have not uh, gone to best friends. We, we both have our 
gifts, but we are not opening to each other's gifts at all. And this is my second time meeting him, although the name is Carolina, but it's a him. And yes, we are battling right now. I'm going to show you his phone. Show you his phone, yep, we are battling right now. Battling the same thing. Alright. But yeah, he's camera shy, so I'm not going to show you his face at all. Arigato! <laughs> Arigato! So this is the amount of candies that Carolina has. You guys will be amazed. It's more than mine. 174,000. And look at the star rush. 150 million. Yep, that is like almost two and a half times of mine. Really insane. Have you guys seen that before? Have you guys seen that before, Lorraine? Look at that. Look, look, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. See? 180,000 Ratata candies. Probably the highest amount of stardust you've ever seen ever with your eyes. I've never seen anyone with higher amount of stardust than that. Maybe I should start grinding again. Hey Adam, what are you looking at? Hey Adam, what are you looking at? What do you just see? A legend. A legend? What do you just see, man? Oh my god. He has zero candies, man. He has zero candies. Not what, that's not what we're looking at. We're looking at this. Oh my god, 149 million? <laughs> <laughs> Eight hundred thousand. <000. laughs> like three times right now. <laughs> this is a Japanese player, one of the top Wait, Japanese players, top instinct player here in Tokyo. Yeah, Yama. Best everything. See, Yama. Everything. You best everything. We a hundred and it'll be seven hundred and twenty million XP. Oh, we have a crazy amount of catches as well. Insane. Insane stats. Insane. <laughs> seven hundred. Insane. Insane. <laughs> Three times my catches. Oh my God. Like, uh, oh, look at his eggs. Oh no. Twenty-seven, twenty-nine thousand, seven hundred. What the hell? One thousand two hundred eighteen Azel rates. Adam, come on, come on, seriously. At least do it on Rikwaza. I need a life. I need a life. Yeah, you need a life. Yeah, yeah. You're in Japan, bro. What is the gym defender hours, bro? I, I, I forgot what's the gym defender hours. <laughs> oh my God, look at that, bro. Two hundred and seventy-one thousand gym leader hours, like. And I have still like almost 1,000 days they have to fall down. Oh so my it's God. not updated. Yeah, and. <laughs> it's near. Oh my God, look at it. This is insane. A mind joke. Yeah, <laughs> who is my best friend? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, bro. Not anymore. <laughs> not anymore. Oops. Thank you, bro. <laughs> See, Kubo Yen, the ex, uh, top XP player just came. I'm kind of lost over because he came behind on me and hugged me and I didn't know it was him. But it's been a year since I saw him. Kubo. <laughs> Why? Hey, hey, why? Auntie Gladys, Auntie Gladys is gonna start scolding people already. What? Auntie Gladys is gonna start scolding people already. Yep, she is gonna start scolding Kubo because he never opens her gift and never open our gift anymore. Never open my gifts? Yeah. Never send me gifts? Yeah. Keep me in suspense? Yeah. And Kubo and I, we are also ultra friends. You know, but, but most importantly, you know, it doesn't matter whether we are friends or not friends in game. Yes. As long as we are friends here. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> yeah, it's so good to see him. Crazy, crazy.
no, no, Chris. Take, take picture. Yeah. Pikachu, Pikachu. Pikachu? Pikachu. Pikachu. Uh, Pikachu. Jim, Jim. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pikachu, 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 Pikachu. I have to see the Pikachu. You guys want to see the craziest battle wins that you will ever see? Look at this. Look, look at what Kubo has for this Pikachu. And he slowed down so much in the game. Alright, he slowed down so much. Alright, look, look, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look. Look at this. Look. Hundred and one. I, I, I didn't see that. Some, somebody come on. Buy your bike. Come on. Come on. Some, somebody put it in the comments down below, right? I, I do not know. How. Yeah, it's just, it's, it's just crazy. I, I don't know how. Hundred and one. Eleven something thousand. Like. Huh? All right, you guys are gonna look at a Japanese player with a lot of hundred percents. All right, look at the number of hundred percents that he has. I do not know if you guys are gonna count it. Yep, just count, just keep counting. All right, it's gonna take a billion years for me to scroll all the way to the bottom. So let's just use this and scroll all the way to the bottom. You see, he has like so many magic cups, so many EVs. And yeah, all of that, Tropius, Feraligator, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%. And yeah, this is what some of the crazy Japanese have. Yeah, look at it. Dialgia, Giratina, and 100% Mel Metal. But that's what I want, yeah. Nuri-san, Nuri-san. Arigato, arigato. We're grinding at Kishicho Station, and this is what we see. <laughs> Made it, made it, made oh it! Oh my god, Isaac! We made it! Yeah. Made it. Yeah. I'm gonna show you guys the fastest way to get best friends. Just come to Japan and just add Yama. Alright, and immediately you become best friends! Ta -da! No, I didn't want to open his gift. Okay, oh, yeah! <laughs> see? Yeah, see? Wow, amazing. Yeah. You don't even need to send a gift or open a gift at all. A brace. Yep, then next. Next, you see? Next. 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 Oh my god. Oh my god. But the one I love the most is this. Ah! 4115. Yama. Yama san. Yeah. Yama san. See? Crazy, crazy, crazy! Oh my god, 102,000. Oh my god, look at that. I've, I, I can't <laughs> comprehend this. Like every time when he shows me this, like three years, two years ago, ever since he, I saw this, 118,000 ace trainers. Like, it's just absurd. Like, Kubo Yen? Are you crazy? No, no crazy. Detire. No, detire. You're not crazy, you're lazy. No, yeah, yes. Yes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> lazy, Kubo Yen lazy. I, I also lazy. I lazy. Lazy, lazy, lazy. 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 <laughs> Japan number one in number of battles. But yeah, just on Twitter, on Twitter. Yeah, we're just growing through the sea. Insane. And now you, Sunny, showing me another guy with 747,000 catches. Hamakon. He is the guy with the hundred, the highest XP here in Japan. 800 and probably 20 something million XP. Ah, Japan is just too crazy. You, yeah. Hamakon doko desu ka? Kawasaki. Kawasaki, and I was there for four days, but I didn't see him. Alright, it's past 12 midnight, and Kubo Yen and I, we can do another trade to up our friendship once again. Yes! <laughs> but I'm gonna give him something really, really interesting. He may, he may uh, strangle me after I give this to him, though. This is the one. Okay, I'm not gonna tell him what it is. Just let him see it later on after I've done the trip. He wants to trip me at BG, sure, no problem. And you know what? Ampharos is actually his favorite Pokemon. And I want him to see this right now. Look, CP. Oh! 100! Yeah. Yes, Kubo is the best and he deserves only the best. And the best, Marip is 100% Marip. Although I could have powered it up. And yeah, you guys want to know, wouldn't want to know what it turned into. Yeah. So, arigato, Kubo. Oh, thank you. Arigato. Thank you, Brad. Arigato. Okay. Yes. Kubo. Oh. Ten more days. Ten more days. Okay. Ten, okay. ten more X-ray passes. Yes. Okay. Oh, it's me. I, I send you. <laughs> <laughs> you send me give lah. You send me give. I open. <laughs> arigato, Kubo. Bye bye. Bye, Kubo. And that is it. Our last day here, actually not our, but my last day here in Japan, Tokyo, Kinchicho Station, craziest grind spot and most popular grind spot here in Tokyo. 
but nevertheless I'm gonna head to Philippines in two days time and tomorrow I will talk to you guys more actually not tomorrow but actually now but before I leave I would like to show you guys the most popular grind spot here in Tokyo in fact in the whole of Japan this is Kinshicho station where we were at just a couple of minutes ago on the video not in real life obviously because uh, we were here last night and I didn't want to show you guys any footage of the grind spot last night because it was so dark but this is basically the front of the train station it's a very popular train station I'm not catching anything I'm just go blasting to spin the stops showing you guys the spawn however if you walk on the outside it's basically just less than a two minutes walk here and you reach the end and then two minutes walk back to actually get the spawns it's seven poke stops and if you want to get the other two poke stops you have to get it in the mall so Isaac what do you think of this grind spot here with the current uh, stardust event <laughs> yeah it's a triple dust That's event it, man. Yep, I'm not crazy. sure if I can continue my trip in Tokyo, I'll probably be stuck here for a bit. <laughs> okay, so you heard it from Isaac, it's a crazy grind spot. You can see the spawns is super duper insane. But too bad I won't be here to grind because I'm leaving already. But nevertheless, I still have one last thing to show you guys. I'm not gonna do it, they are gonna do it, they are gonna do it together. That's all. That's it? Yeah. Congrats. Congrats on your new evolution. So this is what I got. Be a master scientist. Ah, 100,000 evolution. Congrats. Congrats. And that is the last and final crazy stats that I'd like to show you guys. i show you my favorite. Okay, the route. Oh no, the God of War. No, you haven't seen my favorite. Okay, look, look at the number of shadow Pokemon Isaac has. I do not know how many quests he has done. Uh, how, how many did he do? Probably about almost 300. 300? Yeah. Look, look at all of that. And look at so many of the Snorlaxes and the Seesaw and everything. Yeah. And it's yeah. fun just to you know, get scroll, out. Scroll right? all the way down, scroll all the way down, scroll all the way down. Is one with a name? No, I don't yeah, see okay. anything. All of them has a name Charmander, Ratata, no, and blah blah blah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay, so now it begs the question how much Tadas do you need to purify all of them? Bye, I think that is. Bye. <laughs> Bye, and See them in Singapore soon. And looks like I made it to the airport finally after an hour's train ride from Kenshicho Station. And you know, guys, know what? Look at this. I'm at the Pokemon Center at Narita Airport. So, yep, there was actually a Team Rocket quest here and I want to show you guys what I got. Yeah, I got 100% Zubat from the purification process. 100% Zubat from Chiba, Narita. Quite cool, quite interesting. I guess that's my one and only 100% Pokemon that I got from Narita or near Tokyo because Kanagawa is quite far. So that is it for this trip here in Tokyo and I'm heading off to Philippines now. I would just like to mention that I enjoyed myself a lot during this trip here in Japan being able to meet up with so many of my friends from overseas and also at the same time be able to complete the Go Fest at Yokohama not forgetting the fact that we had a crazy time at Kinshicho Station as you guys have seen all the crazy stats that the Japanese and the other players have and there will be more in the future that's going to come soon. But nevertheless, I'll see you guys in the next one. See you too, Pikachu. Bye!